clean and humble repair videos, recording studio, what have you. We are upgrading the Mac G5. Uh, sort of debating. I, I didn't even know what kind of G5 it was for several months. <laughs> but I think we've agreed that it's uh, what? Intel? Uh, Exeon? Dual Xeon uh, processors, 2.66 gigahertz, right? I guess so, if you say so. What's your French name again? D DDA. DDA. This is, this is DDA. <laughs> we could go get the humble. specs. I, I, I'm going <laughs> to off the Apple official website. This is DDA, the Mac hater, uh, resident IT of Clean and Humble Recording. You need some. Uh, you need a custom computer built. It's the man to see. I don't hate. That takes too much strength. <laughs> but uh, I disagree firmly with some stuff. Well, well what are we doing tonight? Well, uh, What's the plan? At your request, uh, we're going to upgrade the memory. It definitely helps uh, your computer here process things. Uh -huh. Well, at least you get to process more things at the same time, right? Right. And then also, you've been having trouble uh, with some built-in FireWire ports. Yeah. So, so we're going to use a DigiDesign certified card. For the Digio 3, so that it don't keep getting those stupid error messages. If you're getting those error messages out there... Certified. Apparently, this is what you need. Design Pro Tools. We're okay on that. And then eventually, we're going to upgrade to Snow Leopard and uh, Pro Tools 9. So this is all prep to upgrade to Pro Tools 9. So and we're going to put two sticks of RAM, right? That's what, that that supposedly will make it faster. Yeah. All right. So we're going to get started on this, and when we open it up, we'll show you how dusty it is. So we're going to put in put be putting in the memory slots first. And that's the existing memory right there. And then we're going to be putting two sticks down there. And this is what it looks like now. And then we'll show you what it looks like when we pull these slots out. Scary. Well, that is a little dusty, but better than uh, anticipated. Join your friends in the wild, Dust Bunny. <laughs> hey, that looks like a new riser card. Brand new. Shipped from Steve himself. <laughs> Little clean prep work. He looks pretty happy. <laughs> it's only going to happen once. Uh, actually, I advise those at home... Um, Maybe uh, once a month, depending on where your computer is actually located. If you have uh, small pets or small children, maybe more than that. <laughs> All right. Looks cleaner than it did before. Let's put the uh, riser cards back in. So, uh, <clears throat> this is are you ready? Are you ready? This is the bottom, right? right? Yes, that's uh, <laughs> riser B. How the hell is it going? Here? Uh, be very careful with that. Am I doing this right? It should nicely snap into place. Gently. I ain't snapping. Gen gentle. I know. I know. There, there you go. Doesn't want to do it. Gentle. I guess you'll have to edit some of this. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go. PCI Express. Firewire. Here comes the Express. <laughs> what was that? You know that disco song? Uh, not that one. BT Express? BT Express? Yeah. It's a classic. Oh. I thought you were up on the Loft Classics, man. <laughs> <laughs> you have to play that. In the studio. We're in the studio. Now, no computer upgrade would be successful without disco and Mexican food. So you got to get yourself some disco by BT Express and some Mexican food. 
or else the shit just ain't gonna work. Right? Alright, this is the moment of truth. Everything's installed. This man's responsible <laughs> if it don't work. And we'll see what happens. I'm gonna hit power. I do not have my glyph drives connected. Right now I just have just the screen and the keyboard. Power light. There's a little ringy thing. Does it do that normally? Yeah, it does the oh the side thing? Yeah. Yeah, lately. What's that all about? I don't know. I don't know. I think it might be a screen thing. But it's been doing that lately. It like overheated during our uh, heat wave here in New York? No, no, it, it goes full, but when it's when it starts up it just has that side thing for some reason. I don't think that's a heat thing. See now it's regular. Alright. Well, it started up. It did, so let's uh, let's check about this piece. Uh, I'm sorry, I just almost said PC. <laughs> about this Mac personal computer. So about this Mac, more info? Oh, five gigs of memory. There he is. All right, the upgrade continues. We are now upgrading to Snow Leopard. And it's to, we're upgrading the G5 to Snow Leopard and we got an unboxing that's going to be jumping off of, got a package today from Sweetwater Sounds uh, of Pro Tools 9. Unboxing! <laughs> and we got... It's just boxes. Just take software out of here. <laughs> Come on. No. We Sorry, got, I didn't mean to offend anyone. We got the, the IT chief of Clean and Humble <laughs> in the place uh, don't, again. Don't uh, put any labels on me, please. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start by trying to put um, Snow Leopard first. We'll come back and show you the results of putting Snow Leopard upgrading from Tiger on a uh, Mac Pro G5. Now we're going to unbox this package from Sweetwater Sounds. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> and, uh, you know, shout outs to my, uh, my unboxing herbs out there. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of people, you know, when they do unboxing videos, they seem to whip out some like crazy machete or some like switchblade or butterfly knife. So, you know, in the spirit of that, to my uh, to my unboxing nerves, I'm going to use a, you know, nothing fancy but a little pocket knife. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to unbox this Pro Tools 9. Clean and humble. Sweet, I highly recommend Sweetwater Sound. I've been ordering my stuff for them for about Ten years or more. Shout outs to Paul Leah. <coughs> Discount. <coughs> Discount. And his assistant Clint. Shout outs to uh I, I'm not gonna say your real name because I know you don't want it, but shout outs to my IT man over here for uh, hooking, hooking me up with the bill me later. Alright, so let's see what comes in here. We got a little sweet water receipt. Some kind of coupon or something. Free 30 day video training. Alright, get some video training. Sweet boy. Little packaging. And we got the box. The Pro Tools 9 Cross Grade. Now, Sweetwater used to put. Oh, alright, yeah. As always, Sweetwater concludes candy in the box. Oh, my cameraman is robbing my candy. <laughs> So, there you have it. Let's see. Let's, let's unbox it even further. Let's get crazy. This is going to look nice on the shelf, so I'll try to not ruin the uh, packaging. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad I waited for the, for the boxed because, uh, you know, it's always nice to have a hard copy instead of just a digital download, you know. Make it look all official by putting your software box up on the shelf. Like over there in the office. We're in the office cleaning home right now. So let me show you how this slides out. This slides out all, you know, box set style. This opens like this. And let's see, what does it come with? I guess we don't get no eye lock because I already have an eye lock, so I don't get the upgraded eye lock. But we get the Pro Tools 9 software discs. 
some Japanese, you get some audio loops, device drivers, I guess because they really beefed up the VST aspect of Pro Tools in this upgrade. You get the software installation guide, and you get the intro to Pro Tools. So there you have it. Unboxing, and right after the Snow Leopard is uh, done installing, we will be installing this. And we'll be fully upgraded here at Clean the Home. So, we're almost, we're, we're still in the process of putting Snow Leopard, but this Battle of the Camel is in studio. Are you excited about having Pro Tools 9 Ooh, at yeah. Cleaning the Humble? Pro Are you? Tools. Well, up to now, we've only had Pro Tools 8, so. No, we had Pro Tools 7. We didn't seven. even have See, it. See, this is two more than we had before. <laughs> exactly. So, if you've ever heard us, we're two levels better than, yeah. than yeah. you've heard. Well, well, do you think we're going to utilize the VSTs in Pro Tools? Just <laughs> <Probably not. laughs> We'd be fools not to at this point. I mean, why get nine if you're not going to use VST? It's true. The moment of truth has arrived. Pro Tools 9 is now going to be installed on a machine that has Snow Leopard, the most updated version of it. And uh, hopefully that will be successful. G5, sounding good. No problem so far. But the true test will be when we open the new version of Pro Tools and we have all the plugins that are on the old iLock, you know, uh, working. So we'll come back when we're at that stage. It is 2.56 a.m. And we're backing up to the NAS now, the G5, which has never been able to be done before, so at least we've accomplished that. Pro Tools is semi-successful, but uh, we got we got it sort of Get working. Get the camera out of my face! <laughs> it's too late. It's too late, man. And this is a message to uh, it's a message to DigiDesign, Avid. You make things, and I lock. You make things way too complicated. This is ridiculous. There's way too many steps. This man right here is a computer genius. He's an IT genius. And and, and it's got him like it pulling his hair out if he had some. <laughs> and it just ain't right. It's just what you're doing is I mean, I understand you want to protect your your software and your hardware or whatever, but it, it come on man. Really? But it's still not fully successful. Rewire we're having some issue with uh, rewire, so when we get that figured out, we'll show it all fully working. But so far, it opens when I pull the rewire plug-in out. There's still some bugs we're waiting on, what is it, 905? Waiting on 905 to download, and in the meantime, we're backing up to the ReadyNOS. And I got iTunes working again with the ReadyNOS, so I'm uploading some albums, and... Uh, We'll be back. Pro Tools 9 successfully installed at Clean and Humble. Okay. Uh, I was having an issue last night. This install really shouldn't have taken this long. But I was on Tiger. So I had to bring my computer up to, you know, snuff to Snow Leopard and do all the updates for that. So that was part of the biggest uh thing that took a long time and then once we got Pro Tools 9 successfully installed and even installed today 9.0.5 so the latest latest version of 9 still was having a rewire problem because basically the digi rewire plugin was like causing Pro Tools to crash if anybody out there has that problem pay attention what you have to do is if you are upgrading and you had Melodyne like plugins that are in your Propella Heads folder within Pro Tools you have to go in there and delete those Melodyne I don't know what they are like they're just like anything that says Melodyne delete them in your Propella Heads folder you get to it from library uh, you know if you do a, a search online you'll find out how to get there but it's basically in library and uh uh, uh, program something or others, uh, application uh, setup or something, you'll get to it. And that, once you delete the Melodynes, 
I don't even know. Maybe Pro Tools Nine doesn't support Melodyne. I don't know. But then, boom. Open the session that has rewire. And as you can see, you're going to hear the Farfisa. There you hear it. So it's all working. And there you go. Pro Tools 9 at Clean and Humble. So if you're looking to record HD9, I believe it's HD now. I don't know. I don't. Th I think they they done away with LE and HD. They're all the same version, I think now. I'm, I could be wrong about that. And if I am, please comment. Um, but yeah, we're fully up to date now, and I'm looking forward to getting into the VSTs and seeing like uh, now I got now I got to install the audio loops that came with it. And I'm about to watch some videos about that. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Clean and humble. Pro Tools 9, there you go. All right.